Now, last hour we heard from Steve Irwin's dad, Bob. He's talked to our correspondent, Michelle Tapper, about his split from Australia Zoo and his pain over not seeing his grandchildren. How long has it been since you've seen Robert and Bindi? I can't remember, to be honest. So a couple of years? No, it'll be a while. Well, Bob said he is hoping for a reconciliation with the family. It is sad, isn't it? But it got us thinking, what rights do grandparents have to see their grandkids and what they can do to repair relationships? We're joined by family lawyer Fiona Reid and psychologist Joe Lamble. Good morning, ladies. Fiona, first, you, do grandparents have any legal rights at all? Yes, some changes were made to the Family Law Act in 2006 which makes particular reference to grandparents so that there are specific provisions which enable grandparents to go to the court and ask for orders to be able to spend time with and for their grandchildren to live with them under certain circumstances and when the court's looking at what is in a child's best interest these new provisions uh, mean that the court must have regard to a child's relationship with their grandparents and also the impact on a child of being separated from a grandparent if someone is going to the court and asking for, a, mm -hmm. for an order that would have that effect. Mm -hmm. In a situation like that, hopefully the court is a last resort, is that correct? That's right. As in any case which involves children, there's an obligation on the people who are, who are wanting the, something out of the court to try some sort of alternative dispute resolution first, such as mediation. And clearly that is going to be the best way forward because they will maintain control over whatever the arrangement's going to be for the, for the children rather than relinquishing that responsibility to somebody else. But also um, being involved in, in litigation is costly emotionally and financially and, and has a very detrimental impact on children. Joe, it is one of the saddest things in a family, isn't it? When, when it's torn apart by disputes with the adults, kids are in the middle, they're often the, the emotional sort of tug of them all as they, they play each other off against. Um, what can grandparents do? Oh, it is so traumatic. I mean, I've seen some grandparents who've never been allowed to even meet their grandchildren. I'd want to be interested to hear what their rights are. But more commonly, yeah, they were really involved with their grandchildren's lives, but then there's a split and then they are cut out. And that is so damaging for them, so heartbreaking, but also for the kids who probably really had a close relationship with their grandparents. Now, what I suggest, though, is that obviously, firstly, you try and create and maintain a good relationship in the first place. So don't criticise the parenting of your children, or, you know, their grandchildren and also to um, not step in and choose sides when they're fighting. But if there is a rift, then I wouldn't suggest they go charging in there and say, oh, I've got rights to see my grandchildren, because that's probably they're going to dig their heels in. But try and approach it, hopefully through mediation, with some em empathy. Mm -hmm. So to go in there and say, hey, this is really tough on all of us and on you too. And, and not say what you, you know, demand to have from your grandchildren, but say what you could add to their lives. To say, this is what I'd love to teach them. This is how I want to be involved in their lives. This is how much I love them. Mm -hmm. And can you just have a thing Think about and even if they're they're having conflict with you can we have a separate arrangement where I might just be able to see them on occasion and is it okay mm. if I send them cards or give them a ring that sort of thing but if mm. I think if you go in very gently with empathy for everyone in that situation you probably have a far greater chance than charging off to court. Do you often see issues like this before the court? No. Not often but yes certainly grandparents are involved you know grandparents make applications particularly in a case like like Bob's, um, where you know there's there's either been a death of one of the parents or there has been a you know there's a major conflict in the family, and particularly if grandparents have been ve very heavily involved in a child's life prior to a separation, or if they've been live if grandchildren have been living with their grandparents for a time, and then that relationship is severed, that's the type of case when a grandparent might then make an application to well, the court. What Joe was saying earlier, do grandparents have visitation rights? Yeah, they have, to, they have to apply for them, but yes, there is provision for them in the Act okay. to say to the court, I want an opportunity to see my grandchildren. Okay. Thank Ladies, you. thank you. Thanks for your You're time. Welcome. And also a quick programming note regarding our interview with Bob a little earlier. We had a couple of emails asking about the internet address for Bob's conservation work at Tin Can Bay, so we've put it on our website. You can go there and find everything you need.